Welcome back to K Mine Stadium on the campus of Lafayette. Matt Fine along with you, and we have a final in game one as Lafayette picks up a win, snapping its eight game losing streak. Eight to six is your final score. Lafayette showing a lot of guts in this one, coming back a couple of different times, and it, it just didn't start off strong for the Leopards. Navy really jumping on the board early. That's Zach Stevens with a two run home run in the first inning. Again, three batters in, and the middies were up two to nothing. It got a little crazy with Conley on the mound in the second inning where he hit four different batters, walked a couple as well. Ten batters came to the plate for Lafayette, and that was one of the big innings for the Leopards as they put up four runs. At the time, this tied the game at 4-4, four to four, and Navy eventually took a lead 5-4, to four, but then Lafayette came back and again, once again, this time in the fifth inning, putting up three runs. Mangini scored, Savage scored, Ingram scored, all in the fifth inning. And that gave Lafayette an 8-5 to five lead. The ball's really just falling. This one in the sixth inning, another run. That's Chufreda scoring in the sixth inning. And that was all the runs that Lafayette would need. The rest of the day, even though Navy made it a little bit interesting in the top of the seventh, Jake Bloss just did an excellent job pitching six and two-thirds. You had Jacob Saccone coming in, getting the final out there with Ethan Stern starting at the shortstop roll and making a catch on a bullet to end the game. And there's your, your line. It's a really strong day by Lafayette. 11 runs, excuse me, 8 runs on 11 hits for the home team versus 6 runs on 10 hits for Navy. Jake Bloss gets the win, as I mentioned, 6 and 2 thirds, 10 hits, 6 runs, all earned, walked 2, struck out 3. Connolly got the start, but Ferguson in relief gets the loss. He pitched 2 innings, gave up 6 hits, 2 runs, or excuse me, 3 runs, 2 earned for the loss, and Saccone gets the save his first of the year. So that's your final score as Lafayette again ends its eight game losing streak to pick up game one here in this four game set. So we'll take a 30 minute break here on ESPN plus. We'll come back with game two this afternoon. I'm Matt Fine, John Sabino pushing all the right, but see you soon. Welcome back. Lots of offense today at K-Mine Stadium and in game two Lafayette comes back with four runs in the bottom of the eighth to win this one 13 to 12. Lafayette just crawling with their way back into this one inning after inning after inning because Navy was putting up some crooked numbers throughout most of the game. Lots of home runs, including this one early on in the first inning from Palacelli. This was a two run home run that gave Navy a two to nothing lead. But every time Navy looked like it was about to put this game away, Lafayette comes. Streaking back, you have Pichu Freda picking up an RBI single, two runs in the first inning for Lafayette. Some problems pitching-wise in the middle innings as Navy again took the lead in the second and again in the third. Three home runs in this game. Logan Keller had another home run, that one in the third inning. Number 24 with a big bat. That's Pichu Freda with his home run in the third inning as well. At the time, it was 5-4 to four in favor of Navy. But the home runs just kept on coming for the midshipmen as they picked up another home run in the fourth inning off the bat of Colin Smith. But just when you thought every time at least that you thought Lafayette was pretty much out of this game. They came back with some big bombs. And that was a home run from the bat of Blaze, Blaze Fadio in the fourth inning. And as we get to the later innings, not the prettiest slide in the world, but the eighth inning rally from the Leopards, putting up four in the bottom of the eighth, was the difference, as you can see right there. Lafayette did not have a lead in this game until that inning, till the bottom of the eighth when they put up those four runs. They had entered that part of the game down by three but when you look at the final score here 13 to 12 in favor of Lafayette 13 runs on 11 hits compared to Navy 12 runs on 12 hits 
the winning pitcher, Bogosian, gets the win. He's 1-0 on the year. Brathwaite gets the loss. He falls to 1-1. One and one. But more importantly than all that now is that Lafayette finds itself getting back into the race here in the Patriot League. The two wins today puts Lafayette at 5-7 and seven overall. Or not, excuse me, not overall, but in the conference or in the league. Navy falls to 3-5 and five as well in the Patriot League as we could update some of those stats. So that will do it for a Saturday sweep for Lafayette. They'll do it again tomorrow, but next time it'll be down in Annapolis for two games at Navy to wrap up the four-game weekend set. Until then, I'm Matt Fine saying goodbye on ESPN+. Plus. Have a great afternoon, everybody.